worry. No shortage of worry these days. Overthinking. Around and around on the hamster wheel. Not really getting off that point. Worrying, worrying, worrying. We say a dog might worry a bone. Keeps on chewing on it. You may experience worry as trouble adapting or resentment. So these are all ideas about not moving off of a particular point. And we see that it's said that the chi, the energy, knots with worry. It stays stuck. It's tied up. Worry is associated with the earth element in Chinese medicine and the third chakra. So this earth element and the third chakra are both in the same place, right above your stomach. Um, there are two points which we're going to use. I'm sorry, there's four points here. Um, I also want to mention there's a little other little uh, aspect to this set of points. And we might think about this earth element which has uh, sweetness associated with as loss of pleasure, loss of creativity. So we're also pulling in the second chakra here, that uh, chakra that is about the not-self recognizing the other and the interaction between them. So inspiration, creativity of all sorts. So using these points, we want to help you to center in yourself, to pull yourself together, center at your personal home base. So not in a knotted or tied up way, but in a way where you are solid and ready to go and strong. We want to help you relax into the sweetness of life, relax into inspiration, allowing inspiration to come in engagement, engaging with that which comes in, engaging with others, and knowing that your personal refuge is intact. So this is the earth element paired with both the second and the third chakras. So the first point is also on the lower abdomen. And here's my belly button right here. And the belly part right below that, about an inch and a half or so, right at the prominence of that curve, is CV6. That's the first point, CV6, conception vessel, front midline. Uh, yeah. I often say here, everybody's got a little more or less curve. We don't worry about that right now. Uh, it's just roughly about an inch and a half below the belly button. The next point is CV14. So here's my ribs, and they meet here, and I want to be just about an inch below where the ribs meet in that V. Uh, you may feel a little bit of bone there. It's called the xiphoid process. A lot of people just roll off the end of that. If you don't feel it, don't worry. Go about an inch or so below that meeting point. Conception vessel 14. So you can actually do both of those points together. Those are the main points. Together and they cover the second and third chakra. Then we have two more points on the feet. And if a point is not on the midline, front or back, it's going to be bilateral. So we have spleen three, and that's on the side of the big toe. And on the big toe, there's that big joint. And you want to be just on the side towards your ankle from that big joint. Spleen three. And stomach 42, you will come back from the second and third toe. So for liver 3, we came back from the first and second toe. This is from the second and third toe. In that space between the long bones, 
So these, this area that corresponds to your feet. Stomach 42. 